Ever since the Gazi Dome came out, it has been my dream pizza oven. I have scrimped and saved to get this thing in my house. And now that it's finally here, I have quickly realized it has three major flaws. The first is how long it takes to get up to temp. I can watch an extended Lord of the Rings movie before this thing's ready to make pizza. So I put a thermometer in the dome that logs the temperature. Those little metal things there are just to hold the wire so it doesn't move around. We want as accurate temperature as possible. So I made this graph here, you can see the yellow line is the log ink of the temperature. You can see along the bottom the time frame. So in order to get to 850 degrees, which is usually where I launch my pizzas, sometimes higher, not very often lower, but 850 is kind of a benchmark we're going for. It took an hour and 43 minutes to get up to 850. Hour and 43 minutes. To put that in perspective with some other popular pizza ovens, check out this chart here. The Unicoda 16, that is our orange line, it gets up to 850 in 26 minutes. And it's up to 950 in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. The, rock, the Gosney Rock Box, our yellow line here, it gets up to 850 in 34 minutes and up to 950 in 47 minutes. So the Gosney Dome is in a whole different league on how long it takes to get up to temp. This frustrated me so much that I was ready to call them up and see if I could do a return. It's also frustrating when what happens to me a lot is I want to cook a pizza for lunch one day because I've got some extra dough. I'm not gonna, I don't always remember to heat up a pizza oven two hours in advance. So I usually just go fire up my uni and then use that for cooking lunches. But I've got this installed in my kitchen for that reason. So the fact that this oven takes so long to get up to temp in order to use it is in my book not acceptable. It's borderline crazy. So this leads into my second complaint about the Gosney Dome, which is the max temp. On their website, they claim that the Gosney Dome gets up to 950 degrees. You can see on the chart here, I let this run for over three and a half hours and it never got to 950. The highest it got was 890. It took, to get to the 890, it took almost two hours and 45 minutes. I'm not waiting that long, I'm just not, it's ridiculous. So the fact that they say it can get up to 950 and does not even get close is frustrating. Some would say it's because it's natural gas and it doesn't combust as hot of a temperature but my Unicoda 16 is also natural gas, and it's getting up to 850 in 26 minutes. So that's not really much of an excuse. And if it is, Gosney probably should have designed it to get hotter than what it does now. And in all honesty, I'm not as upset about it not getting up to 950. I rarely ever, I mean, I don't cook pizzas that hot. But what's frustrating is when I start getting into searing steaks or other kind of meats, when they say it gets that hot, and other pizza ovens I have easily get to 1,000. It's frustrating. I was about to reach out to Gosney and ask for a return when I thought, let me scour the web and see if I can find something to make this product work. Have to at least try. So I came across new to you, reached out to them and asked if they would send me this door. It goes on the dome or in front of the dome, it goes in the dome. It's supposed to help the temp get up quicker. Now, when I, asked them for the product, I told them I want to be able to give my full honest feedback and they said, say whatever you want. And so far, I've only got good things to say. We put in the door and did our same test with the thermometer. So let's look at the diagram here and check out the difference on how long it took to heat up. With the door, which is our red line, we got up to 850 in 46 minutes. We shaved an hour off, right? Is that an hour? We shaved pretty much an hour off. So if you buy this door, every time you heat up your dome, you save an hour. That is crazy. That is crazy. Next, 
our max temp, so to get up to the temp they claim it can get to, 950, that took an hour and 15 minutes. So that's not bad. Even with just the door getting up to 850, that's right on par with the rock box, which in my book is an okay amount of time to heat up. I'm used to them taking a half hour, 45 minutes. So with the door, we're getting up to that temp just as quick as a rock box would. And do you remember on our test before, it took two hours and 45 minutes to get up to 890 as a max temp. With this door, we got it up to 1,020 degrees. So if you're gonna see our steak or something like that, you get this door on there first, now you're really cooking. And I gotta say, I am not an affiliate for this company. I'm not getting paid to say this. My honest opinion is, if you have a dome or are ever gonna get a dome, you need to get this door. I'm not kidding. This, I would send this back if it weren't for this door because now I can actually cook pizzas on it in a normal manner. So before we move on to the third issue, there's a subsection B on getting up to temp that I wanna talk about because this is something that I encounter every time I cook pizzas, which is how long the stone takes to get back up to temp after I've cooked a pizza. Almost every time I cook pizzas, I'm cooking several of them. And the worst thing is you cook your second pizza and it's got a garbage undercarriage. It's pale, it doesn't have any leopard ink, it has no crunch if that's what you're going for. It sucks, it's not great. It's not a great experience. Most pizza ovens have this problem. I have yet to encounter a pizza oven that I've talked about here on my channel where you can launch a pizza right after. There is always time that it needs to get up to temp. Some are quicker than others. Let's see if we can't cut that warm up time down so you can cook more pizzas in a shorter amount of time. So what we've done is a little test. We waited till the stone got up to 850 degrees, temped it, 850, launched our pizza, cooked it for two minutes and took it off. It temped at around 680-ish and then we let it, and this, it's on the highest flame this whole time. We let it get back up to temp just naturally, it took 34 minutes till it was back up to 850. We cooked a pizza in it again, two minutes, took it off, temped it about 680, put the door on it, five minutes later, it's back up to 850. 34 minutes, five minutes. So here's what I like to do. After I've taken the pizza out, put the door right back on, and you'll be back in business a lot quicker than 34 minutes. So again, I repeat, you need this door if you want your dome to do what it should. So some of you may wonder why not use the Gosney door? This, I'm not bashing on this door. It's a great door, I've used it to bake with, and it does great for that. But even Gosney themselves say, do not use the door when the gas burner is in use or a live fire is present. So this is not to be used with a live fire. So what we're doing here, this isn't even, this isn't even capable of doing that. This isn't even in the equation. So move it aside. Still great, I'll, I have video coming out later where I'll show how to use it for smoking and for baking. But our purposes right now, it does not work. Now onto my third and final problem with the Gosney Dome, which is the flame going out, getting blown out. Before I put my dome inside, I had it outside for about three weeks, which during that time, I had the flame go out on me twice on two separate occasions, which if you're right there cooking, it's not a big deal. But I turned it on and left to go do some chores and stuff while it was getting up to temp came back a half hour later, and it's sitting there at 200 degrees, and have to fire it back up and do it all over again. So, new to you also sent me the wind tamer, which is this product right here, and the flame tamer right here. You can see, you can put these, you can put just the flame tamer in the dome, and what that is supposed to do is make it so your crust right by the flame doesn't burn as quickly, and then you can also set up the wind tamer in two different ways. One is in conjunction with the flame tamer and the other is doing it by itself. So I wanted to test out the product before I said it fixed it. To put these to the test inside, I got my wind simulator 3000, also known as the lift lighter, and tried to simulate 
like a burst of wind up close. And as you'll see here, we've got it up close without the tamer, and it's, it's pushing on that flame pretty good, like it's about to go out. But then we do it again with the tamer, and it's getting pushed around, but it's holding its own. It's doing a pretty good job. So then I did the same test, but four feet away from the dome with and without the tamer. Without the tamer, the, the flame's still getting pushed around a good amount. And then with the tamer, it's getting pushed, but it's keeping its mass and it's still going over top the dome, which would still heat the pizza. All the testing we did was with just the wind tamer. Uh, we didn't really do much on the flame tamer. But I did notice when they were used in conjunction, it seemed to work even better. So if you do find yourself with this issue with your flame getting blown out, I would highly recommend picking yourself up a wind tamer, potentially a flame tamer as well. Hopefully this has helped some of you out there who've had some problems with your dome. If any of you have had similar problems, let me know. And if there's other problems I didn't bring up, let me know and we'll see if we can come up for a fix. Other than that, thanks for stopping by.